Hey there, welcome everyone, guys. This is Az Group. I'm Shambo, and I'm once again making a video on Dancing Line Unity, Unity, Unity tutorial. This is the part two of background effects. So today I'm going to talk about like fog and sky boxes and all. So, uh, sky boxes is not really necessary, but still I will tell about it. So. You you have seen that many levels in Dancing Line are actually having fog in them, I miss. And there are even like so many videos where one removes the fog and the fog glitch. So now I'm going to show you how you can implement fog into this game. Okay, so in implementing fog, there's one easy way. That's going to this lighting tab over here. You can go down and here's this fog you can simply check it and to have fog you can check the fog what how much amount it is in the game view you can use this to change the fog color like let's change it to green and this is the fog mode exponential square is fine and you can use this to change the density like whoa that's too much that Let's see, let's play the game and let's test it. happen that you do not want this color to stay throughout the game and you might not want the fog at some places and you might want the fog at some other places okay so that's why we're going to change the fog via script so let's create a new c-sharp script name it fog control Okay, so let's open it in Visual Studio. Okay, where's my fog control? I guess it will be coming up. Okay, so here's fog control. We are using this for triggers, so we don't need this method. Let's write void on trigger enter. I'm gonna check for the player tag once again. Other tag equal to equal to player. So we've got this thing. So now we're going to use the render settings. So like render settings. So now first we need to switch change all the different fog parameters and then switch on fog. So like fog here all the fog parameters you can see fog color, fog distance, fog and density sorry, fog end distance, fog mode, fog start distance. We are not messing around with fog start distance or end distance or mode because we will just mess around with fog color fog and fog density so let's go fog color equal to color dot like let's go blue so fog color is going to be blue so once again i'm going to go render settings dot fog density so before i go into fo editing fog density i need to have let's make a variable a public variable public and density variable that's like zero let's make it unsigned and unsigned oh sorry so this is not able to switch okay so public intensity is right now zero so we will make fog density equal to density okay we will change density outside from the inspector that's why i'm making this thing now go we need to switch on fog render settings dot fog let's use tags for switching on and on switching the fog on and off so let's create an if over here if this dot game object dot tag 
equal to okay, equal to equal to on then we're going to go render settings dot fog equal to true good so now we're going to have else if this dot game object dot tag equal to equal to off we're going to go in render settings dot fog equal to false okay we're pretty much done over here right now so let's save it we will need to attach this to triggers so we let's create some triggers so let's go we have this trigger over here we're gonna copy paste this thing right over here so let's copy it let's let's paste it uh hell what oh okay i've copy pasted it so where is the trigger going away like they are being hell what's happening I'm going to copy this thing, paste it. Okay, I have it done. Let's keep it over here. So let's go back to the inspector. Let's remove control switch. Let's add this component where it's gone. Fog control. Okay, and let's make it. Let's add two tags. We need two more tags, like the on tag and the off tag. Okay. So we're on trigger three. Let's tag it on, and we're going to mess up another. So this tag script over here. That's obviously let's paste it. Okay, once again it's on. So let's move it a bit over here, and we're once again going to remove the component, add fog control, and change the type to off. So now the fog should be of blue color, and yes, the density matters. So let's go change the density to let's check the lighting tab what was the nice density we had it was 0 0.03 so let's go and make it 0 0.03 okay what oh I made it an int value I need to make it float that's going to be uh, float good let's make it is zero point zero point point what the hell okay point okay got it point zero three done so now let's get to the play mode and let's check whether the script is working or not so there is no fog right now density so now you know how to change the file now coming up to skyboxes we will need to change the camera so that we can actually view the skybox nicely so where's my main cam so we're going to like so okay here's the skybox we can see it now the skybox is already chosen as the sky so i will create an area of skyboxes now using let's create another script name it skybox changer mm, or 
or skybox control. So we've made a skybox control. Let's open up Visual Studio. Uh, it should be over here. Okay, skybox control. This is once again for triggers. So we don't need this method. Let's make void on trigger enter. Once again, checking for player other dot tag equal to equal to play error so now checking for sky access ok right so we are going to create an area of skybox public material right material let's make it an area skyboxes Okay. So if so I will switch this tag like skybox sky one sky two and like this so switch this dot game object dot tag okay so case sky one right. so we're going to go render settings dot skybox equal to skyboxes zero let's go and let's hit break let's copy this thing copy it let's paste it right now I will show you with just two different skyboxes let's go so we have it let's save the script we will need to create another set of triggers now so i got this trigger three so okay so let's copy this let's paste it got it a little bit over here we will need to add two more track tags sorry let's add sky one let's set sky 2 oh hell yeah I did ok so sky 2 change it sky 2 so this one would be sky 1 and uh, not this script but skybox control script skyboxes should be like 2 this should be like 0 so where is my skyboxes Oh, okay. Here I have. Are these the materials? Yes, these are the materials. They're kind of same at different time. Okay, so this trigger. Let's add this skybox over here and this dark skybox over here. So this was sky one. This will activate this element. So now let's create another trigger over here. Like Control C V. And let's remove component. Let's add component of skybox control. Skybox size two. This is going to be material one, and this is going to be material two. Let's tag this as sky two. Let's start playing. Let's see whether it's working or not. So I really need to manage the camera and that density thing. Let's make it 0 0.03 only. Uh, no, let's make it 0 right now. We don't want to see the fog. Uh, about... Okay, uh, uh, where's camera? Main camera rotation. Ha! Ah! Okay, let's 
let's let's check it whether it's fine or not i guess i have the look at player thing on so yes that's why it's problematic you know. okay it's fine now so let's i will change the cube speed to 0 0.25 let's go the skybox is actually changing but we cannot simply actually visualize it let's disable the skybox and let's check again it should be working fine now We are done for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. All the scripts will be included down there. Thanks for watching once again. And do not forget to join our Discord server right over here. Thanks for watching.